All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I, I just woke up with an app after I filmed that last video. Um, now we're talking about some NBA. If you watch my recent video, go watch that. We had a lot of news to talk about with, you know, Amazon. Did uh, it be going to Netflix? Um, a bunch of shit like that. We talked about The Rock. So go watch that video if you haven't. So let's get this NBA in. I was going to do it a little bit later, wait for even more news, but. There was a big topic here. Uh, some breaking news. Um, dropped about 2.40 p.m. from the great Woj. And some very shocking news out of Milwaukee. Uh, breaking. The Milwaukee Bucks have dismissed first-year head coach Adrian Griffin's sources tell ESPN. And I saw this one from Napa. I'm, I just went from Napa. I see him talking about the TV. I'm like, what? They fired their head coach? Why? You're second in the Eastern Conference. I, I don't get it. Like, this is very shocking to me. And people want to say, oh, this is the correct decision. It's a disaster start. They're literally 30 and 13 in the second seed. They're literally the second seed. I mean, I guess they're aiming for a championship-level coach, but is there a championship-level coach out there right now that's currently not coaching? Name me a coach. Name me a coach that's out there right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. People say, ooh, Doc Rivers. Doc Rivers is fucking trash. He leaves off his name for one year. One year where he ought to ring with the Celtics. Doc Rivers is not an upgrade, ladies and gentlemen. He's ju Doc is just as bad. Doc has cost multiple teams ring. The Clippers, Sixers, waste so much, so much talent. Ham is an awful coach. Monty's awful. It's like all these black coaches, very few of them hit the tricks. And this is not really about race. It's just these type of coaches just aren't that good. And I'm not saying Doc Rivers is a bad coach because he's black. It's just he's not a good coach. Like when he's on the Sixers, he would just constantly go to Embiid and just hope he can bail him out. And I don't get this. I mean, yeah, they had back-to-back -back dog fights with the Pistons, but he had to have done something. Because you can't, you don't just fire a coach when you're 30 and 13 in the second seat. I don't care if you had two dog fights with the terrible Detroit Pistons. You don't fire your head coach unless something happens. We're 30 and 13 this season, tied for the second best record in the NBA. I mean, yeah, they played two competitive games against against them, but like, no, they had to. He had to have done something. I mean, some drama mid-season with Milwaukee. Some Bucks drama uh, today. I don't think they're blowing up, but I don't, I'm just curious what happened. Like, what happened? Maybe we'll find out more later. Maybe they just don't think um, he's a championship coach. Maybe they think the coaching's the problem. It's, it, it's not... I don't know. He was coaching fine and got them the second best record even with them trading Drew White and a non deep player like Dane. He's done nothing wrong. I mean, I, I just don't get, get what they're doing right now. And we got some follow-up tweets from Woj. Also in this situation, the Bucks are expected to make assistant Joe Prunty interim coach. Sources tell ESPN. What's the re one other reason behind this? I mean, maybe a system is garbage, and maybe they're winning on talent. But they have a top five offense. They're, they're, that's enough to win games, and they're second in the East. <laughs> Kind of just weird. I just don't know what they're cooking here. Maybe assistant coach is still good, but like, man, if this backfires, yeah, it's gonna, it's not gonna let go on the Bucks. But yeah, um, Adrian Griffin got uh, fired. Um, now they're making Joe Price the interim coach. And we have some another follow-up tweet from Woj. Uh, the Bucks are planning to quickly pursue a small pool of accomplished and available veteran head coaches with Doc Rivers near the top of the list. And also confirmed by Shams, the Milwaukee Bucks. 
uh, Doc Rivers is becoming an emerging candidate for that job with Milwaukee. Oh, I know the perfect guy. How about you hire Darwin Ham from the from the Lakers? How about you do that? Um, but down from Adrian Griffin to Doc Rivers. You might as well have just kept Adrian Griffin then. What's Doc Rivers going to do? Cost you a playoff series with his horrible coaching? Something, something happened behind the scenes. Maybe it was just a mid-coach and they thought, oh, they could have been a first-round exit with them. But you could be with Doc Rivers as well. Doc Rivers isn't better. It's even a downgrade. Yeah, that's honestly my thoughts. Uh, Kevin Porter Jr. is reaching a play deal on assaults, uh, harassment charges. Man, don't let him play. And don't let that woman beater back in the league. We'll read the article. And he literally agreed to reckless assault in the third green harassment. Oh, she's like, oh, he didn't hit me. Yeah. Do read the article. She's only doing that probably because uh, he paid her money. I'm just saying. She won't say it happened. NBA doesn't care about sexual assault, I guess. I feel like none of these sports leagues care about sexual assault. I guess it's uh, what happens when you got the athlete privilege. Um, the following. By the, was released by the NBA from the NBA Communications. Uh, Cleveland Cavaliers Tristan Thompson suspended 25 games for violation of the NBA slash NBA PA anti drug program. The NBA announced today that Tristan Thompson of the Clem Cavaliers has been, spent, has been spent without pay for 25 games for violating the terms of the NBA slash NBA PA anti-drug program by testing positive for Ibutamorin and SARMLGD4033. His suspension will give him tomorrow's game between the Cavs and the Bucks. Man, his career is over. Damn, I don't know why he's still in the league anyways. Suit's trash. But yeah, um, the, we had a trade today. The Charlotte Hornets are trading Terry Rozier to Miami Heat for a 2027 first round pick. And Kyle Lowry, sources tell ESPN, uh, Terry Rozier has said if he got traded, he'd prefer to go to the Miami Heat. And it's uh, happened for um, Terry Rozier. I like this move for the Heat to get a, a big time score in Terry Rozier. And you get rid of a big contract with Kyle Lowry, an expiring contract, and a first round pick uh, for the Hornets is good in return. Getting a first round pick. Oh, the Heat, excuse me. The Heat getting a first round pick for Kyle Lowry. But Scary Terry's been really good this year. He put up 23 points and seven, pretty much six, uh, six assists. Smaller contract, eight years younger than Kyle Lowry. I call it a W. Like, getting a Lowry a first round pick. People rather realize how good. Uh, uh, Terry Rozier is. And the 2027 first round pick includes protection, sources tell ESPN. Man, the horse just fucked up. Shit's not even unprotected. It's already protected in 2027 and becomes unprotected in 2028. It's likely the hate are in the lottery regardless. Man, the Heat just committed highway robbery. Um. Also, I think I pretty much said what I said. Good move for the Heat to get a big time score and get rid of Kyle Lowry. And the protect picks um and close protections. I think. I think he includes protections. It's not unprotected, but we'll see. Uh, the Hornets have no immediate plans to work on a buyout with Larry and are expected to see if they can work another trade for him before the February 8th deadline. 
No one's trying for Kyle Lowry. No one has to train for Kyle Lowry, probably. I mean, the Wizards not pull. No, never mind. Um, I mean, the last year expiring is very valuable in the NBA. Charlotte will probably get more draft capital. You can get $25 million off the books. So, I can definitely see somebody trading for him. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's see if any more news here from Woj. If not, then we'll get to the um, uh, NBA Central shit here. All right, it's all from Woj. So let's get to the NBA Central. So, where Adrian Griffith got fired, uh, Doc Rivers can become a series can't replace it. Well, it comes out from SI Chris Mannix. Giannis Antetokounmpo reportedly lost faith in Adrian Griffin. So, he's the GM now? Man, I guess he, Giannis, so that's why they fired him, I guess. But why would... But he has faith in Doc Rivers. I don't know about that. Portland is open to train Robert Williams the third, Pratt Crispy Haynes, and quote, there's some teams that are pondering making a move for Robert Williams. He was tough on the Celtics. Might as well trade for a hospital bed, too. He just can't stay healthy. Fun to watch in Boston, but, like, he's injury prone. But he's good when he's healthy. And the Phoenix Suns are interested in Miles Bridges. Oh, boy. I heard Miles can beat any of his teammates one on one. Um, no, thank you. I don't know if Phoenix would uh, want to do that. End quote. I got nothing to prove in this league. I'm a max player, and I'll continue to be a max player. End quote. DeAndre Ayton. You're averaging worse yet numbers than a, a Yusuf Nurkic, buddy. Bro really says he can, he'll continue to be a max player. Is the man retarded? Ain't playing like no max player. He sees himself as Shaq, but in reality, he's at least Diop. Are the Atlanta Hawks are the favorite slam Kyle Lowry, Pert, Bovada, official. The Hawks are plus 150, Jazz plus 400, Cavs and Wizards plus 400, Knicks plus 550. Uh, the Raptors are plus 600 and the Bulls are plus 800. It's kind of crazy because the Hornets were never even on here. And then... That happens. But Kyle Rowe is expecting up on the buyout market. One league source suggests the Hornets will probably buy Larry out of the remainder of his contract, giving him the veteran opportunity to choose his next destination, similar to life of when Charlotte acquired Reggie Jackson last year. Larry in big 2024. I mean, who knows what source. Maybe Wo just right where they could trade him again. He also ended up in the buyout market. So under the new CBA rules, containers such as Phoenix, Milwaukee, Boston, Denver cannot acquire Kyle Lowry, though the buyout market as his salary exceeds the mid-level exception threshold. Saying Phoenix right now in contenders talks, oh, man. I mean, they're low-key kind of cooking recently. Six wins in a row, I mean, they're getting up there in those contenders. If they keep winning and stay healthy, they're going to be in contention. Uh, the Lakers are considering, have considered trading for Andre Drummond to potentially match up versus Nikola Jokic in the playoffs per at Mc10. The Lakers have also considered dealing for players who could address specific needs in a potential playoff matchup such as Andre Drummond of the Bulls in anticipation of postseason rematch with the Denver Nuggets and their big front line Nikola Jokic and Aaron Gordon sources said. I mean, Andre Drummond's good. He played pretty good this year. But he... But that's a huge LOL. He can't even contain Drew Eubanks. Oh, he body multiplies... Okay, he defend. He makes defensively, especially on Drummond, literally helped the comeback. Andre Drummond's like, he's probably like, me? Me? Don Thibault is a, quote, big fan of Gordon Hayward and Kyle Lowry, part of Bond NBA. Two names to watch out on the buyout market. Gordon Hayward and Kyle Lowry. Um, Lakers are expected to show interest in players like Trey Young and Donovan Mitchell. Per at Mc10, they've discussed entirely the possibility of patching three picks along with players they already have on their books to pursue a bona fide star such as Mitchell of the Cavaliers or Trey Young of the Atlanta Hawks. 
Monkeys are interesting to everyone. They're like a desperate, like, hoe. It's not gonna happen. Um, team showing you just Michael Brock and Timberwolves, Rockets, Knicks, and Lakers. And Lakers don't interest everyone. This ain't gonna happen. Big Bucks are trying to barge their way into the trade case. Chase for the last John Chamber. Yeah, they have. It's not gonna happen. They've never even asked us. But I'm saying to next month, like, poosh.